Hello and welcome to the series of sessions on Salesforce. In this session, we'll be discussing on the uh, workflow rules. The, the purpose of workflow rules is to automate the business processes in an organization. So you can automate the business processes like sending emails or creating tasks or doing an update on a field. So these are achieved through a set of actions. So the actions will be executed based on certain rule criteria. So the rule criteria will be defined uh, as an entry criteria for executing the workflow and the actions will be executed thereafter once the criteria is satisfied. So the actions can be executed either immediately or it can be executed at a later point of time uh, through a scheduled uh, time uh, dependent action that will be uh, one of the options provided by the workflow configuration. So we will see how we can configure or define the workflow rule for automating the business process. For our demo purpose, we will be taking an example of creating a workflow rule uh, for an object based on opportunity. So whenever an opportunity revenue or amount exceeds $300,000, the uh, and the opportunity is active which means it is not closed then we need to send an email notification to the senior vice president of the marketing and sales so we will see how we can achieve that or how we can define that in the application or in the setup so in order to do that click on setup then go to create under create click on workflow and approvals under the workflow and approvals click on workflow rules so when you click on workflow rules you will be shown the screen click on continue button you will be shown list of all existing workflow rules let us create a new rule by clicking on the new rule button so I would be basing my workflow rule on the object opportunity and click on next I give a rule name so I would be giving this rule name as Burlington Burling Burlington larger deal and this is for more than $300,000 okay so this will be evaluated whenever a new record is created and anytime it's edited subsequently to meet the criteria I would keep this as it is and define the cri rule, uh, rule criteria for running this workflow the first criteria is opportunity amount is equal or greater than you can say greater than or equal to or it's greater than three hundred thousand dollars and the second criteria is opportunity closed not equal to I click on save and next the next step I need to I have once I have done with the rule criteria I can create the action required for that I would select 
new email alert notify sales rep uh, senior VP, sales vp vp sales senior vp sales as the description and i selected some existing template which is there for opportunity so this is not a relevant template but for the demo purpose i am choosing this template and so i select the user as phil choi who is the senior vp of sales so i click on save once it is done and the most important thing is i need to go back to the workflow rules and activate this workflow in order to execute this workflow rule so that's how uh, once a new opportunity is created whenever a new high value opportunity is created there will be a email notification sent to senior vp so this is how workflow rules can be used for automating the business process by creating the rule criteria and then by setting the actions required you can automate the process in a very efficient way and improve the productivity of the sales rep hope this uh, session was interesting and uh, we will meet soon for further topics thanks for joining